Alright guys, welcome to tutorial about tessellation. So what we're going to be doing is uh, proper tessellation where it doesn't um, get out of control and kind of make the mesh look all bad and stuff and it's not going the way you want it to but you know it makes it so it doesn't look all super pointy and stretched. Just It, it looks like it's actually deforming the proper right way um, like what I have going on here on these see not all pointy and deformed poorly and uh, to do this oh I just did I just totally noticed this alright and to do this what we're gonna do is we're going to import an object and this object is going to be do I wait do I actually have an object that's totally square right now I believe I have some in shapes I have a sphere so we're going to be doing it on this sphere so I'm going to go to textures I'm going to bring in my assets you do need a displacement mesh for this this asset's going to be called round thing. We got that round thing. That really cool thing. And everything I have is in GoldenEye right now. We're going to choose. We're going to choose the cluff because the cluff is awesome. There is no better textures than the cluff. <laughs> uh, also, another thing I should show you is what I've been doing, kind of. I totally cut my hair got sick of it being the way it was it just normally sticks up like this so uh, did it military style it's really weird but my mom actually likes it so and I've been eating a crap load of chocolate and working on stuff that's here currently that monitor is out of order I do have this one though so that's good anyway let's do this Alright, so we're gonna build this mesh from scratch. Let's do this. Create material. Open material. Let's just, just. Yes. Uh, yes. There we go. Open this up. Here's everything put that up there because we're going to be very organized about this and grab displacement normal map uh, yeah and just drag that there now I have to find out which one is which that's sp that's specular okay that goes right here that's the displacement map you can always tell that apart but telling apart the specular and the uh, the occlusion map is kind of it's kind of difficult. Now we have the normal map. Goes in normal. Specular. Okay. So here's our material. And uh, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to create two multipliers, one divide, and we're going to right click and add a subtract. And you see, that goes over here, this goes over here, this connects into there, that connects into there, this totally goes in there. And we're going to choose a vertex normal, which, you guessed it, goes into here. 
and we're going to need our displacement map which is going to go in here and so far we're doing great so that goes it always does this right in the middle of I'm saving I can go for an hour on designing and fixing a level and right when I start recording it's got to save all the files I swear to god they're doing this on purpose to make me angry I think this is probably also what I get for um, making using really high resolution textures I almost done there because I want to eat some more candy and gain no weight whatsoever Dun 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 It's seriously gonna do this to me. It knows my upload speed is crap. Anyway, uh a little question while I'm waiting. Are you guys enjoying the um sixty frames a second tutorials? I hope you are because they literally cost no more megabytes than 30 frames a second, which means Google was stupid for an extremely long time. Hey, Ubisoft, even YouTube has 60 frames a second. Oh, wait, but 30 frames a second look more cinematic, said no game developer ever. Said no one who's ever worked on a movie developing models and things and effects and actually this one goes in here one second okay now we're gonna need a scalar parameter and just connect that to A and to B and then set it to five just just right now to five and this is going to go up into world displacement now as you can see nothing's changed right now uh... we are going to have to activate tessellation and there you go we're going to go all crazy with this and we're going to put this up to uh, 50. Still keeping its shape though, isn't it? 20. And I like 20, so we're going to use 20. Alright. So there it is. Now it's going to compile. I'm going to drag that there. And the result is we have a nice looking rock it's kind of a bit crazy but you know it went from being a shapeless thing into something that has a shape and the shape is controlled and looks great but in all honesty I kinda want um, this to go down to 10 just because to be a little bit more controlled on the polys that we use and you're gonna see this happen in real time look at that there's literally and look it even has a plant right there okay if you're wondering how many polys it is well it's a lot okay anyway that is the end of the tutorial here is the beast of an object which literally without a texture looks amazing thanks for watching guys
and um, another tutorial coming at you. Bye.